Coach is now available. Room will be open when coach is done. Kent, those two early plays where the ball was on the ground and you didn't come up with either one of those, were, were those key plays in your mind that could have turned this game for you? I don't know. I mean, we didn't make enough plays, period. Uh, we played a better football team today. You know, they were just better than we were. They were more physical. They were stronger. Um, uh, we, had, uh, we didn't make as near as many plays as we could have. Missed too many throws. Uh, dropped too many balls uh, on offense, which killed a lot of our drives. Um, they converted a lot of second downs, you know, especially in the first half. And uh, we just dug too big of a hole. You know, I mean, the ball, you know, ball bounces the way it does, right? They, they, got, they got a sweet bounce on the second uh, when we dislodged on the second one and ran all the way down and led to their first score. But I don't know that ultimately it would have made you know, too much of a difference. We played a better football team today. Coach, what's your message to your players and how proud are you of them for all the they this year? Very proud of them. Nobody gave us any chance at all to be here. Everything that they've overcome, everything that they battled through, uh, uh, all the all, all the players that we played this year, uh, I'm unbelievably proud of that room. Uh, we have a lot to build on. You know, we've got a good young football team. We we got to get better in some areas, uh, and we will. But uh, we've got a great foundation. Really proud of these guys. Love love all. Of them. Was there a time in the second half that you thought the door was open a crack and you might be able to? Yeah, we got back to two scores. Um, then we run into the punter. That was that was a turning point in the second half. Uh, we, we got them off the field and we we're going to get the ball back. We were, we were moving the ball pretty well. And uh, then we run into the punter and that was it. They, they, they scored that. Uh, then they threw a deep ball on us. You know, we didn't make any plays. Uh, we, we gave up too many big plays, I guess I should say. Too many big plays on defense. As well, did tackle well. Give credit to their to the run game. They broke a lot of tackles. Too early to assess Henry's play today, Kent. Like what you thought of his game, the offense in general. Uh, we 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 didn't execute very well. We had a lot of open receivers um, uh, at times, and uh, for the most part, the protection was decent. Um, uh, a strong team like that up front is going to get to the quarterback at times. Uh, we just didn't throw and catch the ball well today. Not like we have. Injury to Dykowski obviously uh, mm -hmm. was hurt. Um, was, was Evan McCullough at 100%? Were the other guys? Oh, I, you know, I, I don't know what 100% is or 80% or whatever that means. I mean, you know, uh, Evan was banged up like other guys, but they had guys banged up too. I mean, that, that doesn't mean anything. Was Stevens, uh, was Courtney's absence a factor in the game in your mind? I'm not making excuses. You know, Courtney's a great young player. He's going to be a great player for a long time. And, uh, but, you know, we line up and play with, with the guys that we have and proud of the guys that, uh, that play. Kent, it was talked about all week what the environment was going to be like for your team on this day. Was it what you thought it would be? Was it even more with all the fans and everything? That... No, that's what we thought. You know, we only had one mishap. Uh, it was a mistake. We tapped our, tapped our center before. Uh, Henry gave the signal, and the ball ball got by him. That was a, that was the one glaring mistake we had um, on offense. I don't think we're, were we offsides even a single time with that crowd. I don't believe we were. Outside of that mishap, that was a inadvertent tap that that should have happened. Um, you know, we the crowd always didn't have anything to do with it. Coach, they say you learned more from a loss. Uh, I know it's still fresh, but what do you think the lessons are from this game? I think you can learn from everything. And I don't think that's true. You can learn from, from wins, too. You know, the, the, the most important thing is that we evaluate uh, where we're at, how we got here, where, we, where are the deficiencies on our football team, how can we get those shored up quickly uh, and continually to get better as, 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 a, uh, as a football team and uh, to continue to build towards a championship-quality football team. You know, that, that's, that, that, that's it. I mean, it... Every game has lessons to learn, right? And and things that you take from that you could have done better, uh, that we could have coached better, I could have coached better, uh, put our players in better position to, to be successful. Uh, and we all learn from that and grow, right? But you can learn from the positive things too. Did you learn from things today or did it show things you already knew? I, 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 you want to be more specific? Well, you said there were some deficiencies that needed to be shown. You know, we, we knew, but we knew that going into the game. I mean, that, that's, uh, I'm not going to talk about that, you know, here. Kent, uh, you were uh, 
You're obviously in Hamilton now. You were looking for the win today. But can you stand back at all, or is it too fresh to appreciate what has happened to the place where you once to play here in Regina? It's kind of amazing what's happened on and off the field for him. You mean there's uh, you mean there's success? The success. Of the oh, team. it's the it's great. It's great for oh, it's great for the team. It's great for the, the province. It's good for the league. Uh, we want every franchise to be strong and successful, right? Uh, to keep the league strong and vibrant. And uh, you know, Saskatchewan certainly is a shining light in that regard. You feel you had this after your first year. Do you feel you, you had this team pointed in the right direction after one year? <laughs> well, I don't know. Two teams made it to the Grey Cup. You tell me. I mean, of course we're pointing in the right direction. I mean, that. what do you think? I mean, do we, do we need to get better? Absolutely. Are we good enough yet to win a championship? No, we're not. Right? But but we, we've certainly made a lot of strides. I mean, I'm not, I'm not going to let you rain on our parade um, with, with, with a question like that, Drew. I mean, I, yes, I think it's an obvious answer. I'm, I, I'm, I don't want to get upset, but, but that, that's a disservice to those guys in there. Anything else, guys? All right, thank you very much.